This is a short little demonstration on how to get a new project started using the Outlaw Project Manager. So I've got a my series of groups over here and I've created a new group just for what we're doing here by clicking on new group. And all new group is is just simply an organizing method for keeping various projects in folders or organized. If you're starting a new project for your Corona application, the easiest way to get things going is to just simply click the new project button in Outlaw and I'm going to give it a name and this is just going to be a sim simple hello world project. So we'll give it a hello world title. Um, we'll go ahead and make it so that it, the default device is for the iPhone and I want to create a base folder for this because I have it. This is a brand new project for Corona. Remember all projects should have their own folder to keep everything organized. So let's go ahead and browse and I'm going to tell it to put this folder on the desktop just for ease of finding it and we'll click on new folder. The new folder is going to be hello world but it could be any name that we wanted to call it. I like to call my folders by the name of the project that they're going to store or what what the project is that they're going to have inside that project and now we've got a hello world folder created so we'll choose that and we'll tell it to go ahead and auto add any new assets that are added any buttons or graphics that we add to it and tell it to go ahead and create the basic files that are associated with it if you're just getting started with Corona, you're probably not going to be messing with build settings or config.lua. It doesn't hurt for it to go ahead and be created, but primarily you're just going to be focused on the main.lua. So I'll click on OK, and then you can see under new group over here, it created a project called Hello World. And Hello World has in it a build settings, a config.lua, and a main.lua file. So let's open up main Lua by just simply clicking on it. And just to go a little further, let's go ahead and show how we might print something to the terminal display. Terminal display is in this area down here at the bottom for the Outlaw Project Manager. So if I wanted to print, I could say print hello world and save it. You always have to save before you launch your project and we'll launch. It'll launch my Corona simulator automatically. You don't need to see this. There's my Corona simulator. As you can see, nothing shows up in the simulator because all we're doing is a print. But down here in the terminal, I get the hello world. Now if I want to show this on the screen, on the simulator, we can do a display dot new text hello world should give it um, I'm just going to give it some values just to get it located uh, we'll say 200 by 200 that's over 200 down 200 over 200 pixels down 200 pixels for the center of the hello world text and the we'll, we'll tell it to go to default text font We'll tell it to go to the default font and let's give it a size of 24 pixels for the or 24 for the font size and then finally of course we can go ahead and launch save this and launch it and there it is hello world on our project Woohoo!